All right, guys, we are back today with a new vehicle update for the channel. Um, it's quite a bit overdue. We've had this car for about two years now. Um, this is my grandfather's van. This uh, basically replaced his 04 Freestar and that Honda Odyssey I had a few years ago. Um, basically, I was driving one day coming home from work, and I found this on the side of the road at a Ford dealer. It was a new car trade-in, um, and they were retailing it because it was so clean. Uh, if it wasn't for my grandfather buying it, which I had showed it to him, I was going to buy it for myself. Um, but I figured the way I go through cars, I wouldn't have this very long, and I'd like to see this around for a while. So anyways, he bought it. Um, and I've just really had not had the time to make a video on it, and I've been using it for a few weeks here. Um, I had to borrow it to go on a road trip. Um, long story there, I'll keep you updated on the next video uh, with the Sentra. But anyways, I had to borrow it. I drove it down to uh, Richmond, Virginia. Um, and that was really the first time I had driven this thing long term. Um, this Windstar, right? My purple Windstar, if you guys remember. I love these things. But um, anyways... Here it is, it's a 98 Windstar Limited. Uh, it came from California, that's why it looks so clean. So it was a West Coast van most of its life. Came to Michigan in 2016, I believe. Uh, somewhere around there. Um, so it's virtually rust free. Uh, it's got a little bit of rust, obviously, from driving it right now, but um, it's, it's pretty mint for the most part. And it's been dead reliable. I mean, he hasn't had to put a single penny into this thing. He's put 20,000 miles on it. Well. With the mileage I have put on, um, we've had about 20,000 miles in our ownership. Um, but I said it's kind of cold out today, and I'm gonna drop it off right now. So I figured I would try to get a video of it because um, I really hadn't neglected to, to do that. Um, he's driven to Florida in it already, so <laughs> what more can you ask for from a 21-year-old van? I mean, this thing it has yet to skip a beat. Um, you see the exterior it does have 16-inch polish. Wheels, they look really nice when they're clean. It's a little dirty right now, but um, I just ran it through the wash. Um, it does have Pirelli P4 All Seasons on. The car had um, some older Bridgestones and some Chinese knockoff tires from the dealership. Um, so if you remember my Buick LeSabre, I had almost brand new Pirellis on. So these are from the Buick. I gave them the Pirellis, and um, yeah, they've done good so far. They have about 80% tread life in them. Um, as far as the van, it's not perfect. Um, there's a few little dents and nicks here and there, but um, I'll take that over rust any day. I like there's a little nick down there. There's a center cap missing, which I actually had bought for it. Um, it's in the glove box. We put it in on a warmer day uh, when potholes kind of get patched up. Um, the dealership put new brakes on it when he got it. And this also has the uh, the gold uh, badging along, along. So the gold badging gave you the gold grill. The gold badge is down here. Um, but the gold on the grill was sun faded really bad. So I had actually found a new grill on eBay, a chrome one that the regular Limiteds got without the gold package. Um, as you see, this is this was pro, uh, gold at one point. It's kind of fading. That's what the grill looked like. So um, I was able to snatch that up, which is probably the last grill in the country for a 98 Windstar Limited. Um, they only made this particular refresh for one year. So it's really hard to find parts for these. Uh, this color is a tri-coat color as well. I don't know what the specific name is, but... I love it, and I like the 90s window tint. I'm um, looking over at the interior. Uh, I do apologize for the beeping. Um, if you have a leather interior, it is perforated. Early build model 98s got perforated interior, and then once the 98 model year, the 98 year came, they did not put perforations in the seats. So um, this was built in October of 97, I believe. So we do get the perforations, which I do prefer. Um, I threw a floor mat in, because I was just gonna trash it with all the salt out. Yeah, looking at the interior, it's your Windstar Limited. Um, not a whole lot of these around, so uh, this was the equivalent of like 60 grand in today's money back in 98, so not a lot of people had these. Everything over here is typical 90s Ford. Everything's soft touch and not the best quality, but it's definitely nice feeling. Um, let's have a JBL audio system as well. Um, two of the back speakers are blown in it. They all do that. Um, so if I were to place the back speakers and maybe amplify it, it would sound pretty good. Um, it does have a subwoofer as well, but I, like I said, I haven't made it, been able to test it because the speakers in the rear are blown. Uh, looking at the mileage here, 135. So we got it with like 110 on it, 115. Um, I don't really recall, but um, it's been it's been problem free. Um, transmission's been good. Um, 25 gallon tank, so you can drive pretty far on this tank. This have an aftermarket Kenwood radio in it uh, that came. Before we bought it so yeah fog lights trash control defrost wiper blade all that good stuff so uh, the interior is in pretty good shape for a 98 ford windstar 
again, it's a hit or miss for your Windstars. Either the cushions are totally pancaked or they're not. These ones aren't. The leather, it's not the best uh, quality leather, so it's going to be folded over, but that can be cleaned up, and I just have not had the time or been around it long enough to really go at it full detail, which is why I haven't made a video on it. You have a temperature gauge up here and a compass auto dimming mirror, and this is your automatic headlight sensitivity. So we'll turn on the headlights right now. We'll pop the hood as well. Leather wrapped wheel. Um, again, this is another Ford thing in the 90s. Their leather never held up, so it's uh, of course it's receded. It's in better shape than most one because a lot of this comes undone, but anyways, you're not gonna probably find a new steering wheel, OEM wheel, that's at least leather wrapped, so. So as you'll see when I come to the rear, one of the seats is missing. This car was driven to Florida last winter and it really never recovered from that road trip. It took a few other road trips down south since then. So they have a dog, they throw their dog cage right here and they really just have enough room to get what they have in the van. So that's why it's kind of uh, torn apart back here, but it's clean. It just needs a good detail, which again, like I said, I haven't really had time to do, but the seats back here are really good shape. They're a little dirty, but like I said, a little elbow grease. The leather itself is in good shape though. So captain's chair, of course, there's another one that goes right here. And you have your auxiliary jack back there for the radio and all that up there. So again, I said these speakers back here are blown. So my old ones started the same thing. You can't really see in there, but they are in fact blown. You do get a subwoofer back there as well. And some more flooring right there. There's a Windstar cargo mat underneath that. Um, this does have the Windstar problem again with the locks. So the locks kind of stick, so we had to pull the fuse on it. That's another thing that you can solve, but again, we just really haven't done it. Um, so I'll lock that right there. So driving this car, uh, you know, 1,500 miles in the span of a week uh, was quite enjoyable behind this thing. This thing really is comfortable. It's a joy to drive. It's easy to drive. You know, I wish they still made them like this, but they don't. Under the hood is a 3.8 liter V6, uh, as we all know. A little dirty it was totally detailed when we bought it but um again a lot of road trips and stuff 200 horsepower and 230 pound feet of torque it really does put the power down quite well um, i do enjoy driving it around town but um there it is guys just a 98 ford windstar i'm sure i have an update at some point in the future but i don't know when that will be so and that's why i'm making it now in the middle of winter um, so as usual guys thank you for watching we'll talk to you all later